Ranking the Danganronpa S Beach Outfits on a scale from 1 to 10. Go! Makoto, it's what you'd expect, fairly average, but still looks alright, 6 out of 10. Taka, this one is very, um, revealing, I guess briefs make sense for him, but there isn't much to rate, 4 out of 10. Byakuya, terrible, what are you thinking? I thought the yellow parts were his skin at first glance and I hate it. You're rich, you can do better, 2 out of 10. Mondo, another simple one, but it also looks pretty good on him, so 7 out of 10. Leon, I like the jacket, but the colors on his shorts are odd. I don't like the way they fade into each other much, 5 out of 10. Hifumi, he's unironically wearing anime merchandise on the beach, and I can't decide if I want to give him a 1 or a 10 out of 10 for it. Hiro, the colors are nice, and I like that there are aliens on his shorts. It fits him. 8 out of 10. Chihiro, they look cute like this. The trunks aren't much to speak of, but I like the top. 7 out of 10. Sayaka, I can't exactly tell what the top looks like, but the bottom part of her bikini is nice. The shape is pretty. 8 out of 10. Kyoko, this outfit is a lot more revealing than I expected from Kyoko, but there's nothing wrong with that. It still looks fine. Her gloves look kind of silly with this outfit, but I'm not blaming her for still wearing them. 7 out of 10. Hina, it's a very efficient design, there isn't much to it to swim faster, just what one would expect from the ultimate swimming pro. Would've looked better in red, 6 out of 10. Toko, another cute one, it almost looks like she's wearing a skirt. Not as efficient as Hina's, but I like it more from a design standpoint, 9 out of 10. Genocide Jill, I like that the design is different, it shows more confidence in the difference between these two personalities. But I do wonder, is she wearing a different bottom or did she cut up Toko's? 8 out of 10. Sakura. Her top isn't really visible and I don't like the bottom part that much. Not sure why, but I don't think it fits her. 5 out of 10. Celeste. Amazing. Stunning. It has many details without being over designed and keeps Celeste's color scheme. 10 out of 10. Junko. Girl, what are you doing? The ultimate fashionista cover up ain't gonna work like this. It's fine, I guess, but it does not look great on her. 3 out of 10. Mukuro. This is so much better than Junko's. The flower pattern is pretty. 8 out of 10. Monokuma. The body bodice are nice touch, but I could have gone my whole life without seeing Monokuma in a song. 1 out of 10. Hajime. When I first saw this, I thought the orange didn't go well with him, but it's starting to grow on me. 7 out of 10. Nagito. I'm still losing my mind over this screenshot and I like the jacket a lot. 10 out of 10. Ultimate Imposter. Same as Byakuya's basically. The colors are switched. I still don't like it. 2 out of 10. Gundam. The design of his shorts is really cool but wearing a swimsuit and a scarf together is ridiculous even for him. 6 out of 10. Kazuichi. Another cool shorts design. Another one that suffers from the fact he's still wearing his hat. Are you hot or cold man? Make up your mind. But it's less outlandish than the scarf, so 8 out of 10. Teru Teru. The roses fit him and I like that the jacket and pants contrast each other. 8 out of 10. Nekomaru. Another character that's just wearing black briefs. Not much to say. I hope he's not trying to swim with those chains that's just asking for disaster to happen. 4 out of 10. Fuyuhiko. Simple black and white shorts, but they work well. 7 out of 10. Akane, Chiaki and Peko. I'm throwing these three together because the outfits are a reference to the scene in Danganronpa 2. They're all getting a 9 out of 10 for that alone. Sonia. I don't understand why she didn't keep her swimming outfit. The color of this one is cute, but this girl is way too long and does not look convenient for actual swimming. I feel like Sonia of all people would be someone who pays attention to that. 4 out of 10. Hyoko. I can't believe I'm saying this, but they managed to make Hyoko of all characters look adorable. The bikini color matches her bows and it works really well. 9 out of 10. Mahiru, 0 out of 10, do not go swimming with a camera unless it's specifically made for swimming, it will break, you should know better. Mikan, also simple, just a plain white bikini, but it looks good and fits Mikan's personality, 7 out of 10. Ibuki, I absolutely adore the colors, they work so well, I love it, 10 out of 10. Izuru, this one made me laugh because he switches to being extremely edgy. If you look closely, the bow on the shorts is reddish, so it's actually Hajime's outfit reversed. Good stuff. 9 out of 10. Monomi. 
Oh my god, is Monokuma forcing her to wear his colors? This is so sad. Anyway, 2 out of 10. Usami. Slight improvement, but Usami looks weird without her chest plate thingy. 3 out of 10. Komaru. Yellow does not look great on Komaru. I much prefer her design on the title screen, 6 out of 10. Masaru, I like this one, it's colorful and I like to do different design thing it is going on, 8 out of 10. Jataro, I don't think this really classifies as a swimming outfit, 3 out of 10. Kotoko, I am very uncomfortable about rating her, but the bow is cute, 6 out of 10. Nagisa, not much going on for him. It looks decent, but I think having the colors reversed would have worked better. 5 out of 10. Monica, 0 out of 10 for being Monica. Kurokuma, I adore the water gun. It's fun and it's a cool reference to the fact he's from a shooting game. The shots ruin it, 6 out of 10. Shirokuma, not really a swim outfit either, but the head is cute. Though I don't think the robots can actually stay afloat even with a floaty, so 6 out of 10. Hiroko, doesn't she get hot in that jacket? Otherwise, from what we can see of the LG bikini, this is nice. 7 out of 10. No, Yuta. Shuichi, the best one out of the protagonists, honestly. Nice color, cool jacket, and I'm starting to feel like I've said this exact sentence 5 times. But it is what it is, 8 out of 10. Kaito, it has a space design, that's just amazing. 9 out of 10. Ryoma. The outfit itself is alright, but looking at Ryoma without his head makes me extremely uncomfortable. 3 out of 10. Rentaro. I feel like the pink and the green of his hair clash with each other. They do not go very well together. 4 out of 10. Gonta. This man is wearing leaves as pants. 6 out of 10. Kukichi. It's cool that it keeps his purple and checker spot design, but it's too saturated in my opinion. 5 out of 10. Kyo. This man isn't going to the beach, he's going diving into the deep sea. 4 out of 10. <laughs> Kirumi, black bikini, what do you want me to say about it? It's fine, 6 out of 10. Himiko, another person who looks weird without a head, but she isn't as weird to look at as Ryoma. The top is cute and I like that it only straps around one shoulder, so this is another one that would have looked better in a different color, 7 out of 10. Maki, this one is cute as well, I like this color on Maki a lot, 8 out of 10. Tenko, again pink outfit and green hair clash a lot, not as badly for Tenko as for Rentaro, but it's still not great, 5 out of 10. Tsumugi. Yellow works surprisingly well on her. I feel like she's cosplaying something and I just don't know what. 7 out of 10. Angie. This is just her regular outfit, but without her jacket. And I think that's actually a nice touch. I like it. 9 out of 10. Mew. This is somehow exactly what I expected of Mew. It fits her personality a lot. 7 out of 10. And last but not least, Kaede. I'm slowly realizing how little I've had to say about most of the V3 girls. There just isn't as much to their designs. I didn't expect blue for Kaede, but it doesn't look that bad. 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching.